Hi everybody, welcome to the Peachtree Morning Show. It's Friday, February 28th, and it's almost weekend. Yay. I know for some of you it's already weekend. Yay for Yay. Friday! Everybody loves the weekend. It appears to be a striped day. She's got plaid. Guess she might yeah. have a, and I got, yeah. We yeah. didn't rehearse it. It's all <laughs> totally unplanned. It's totally unplanned. Okay, so today we have a special guest from Shanghai on a video. And this is Schumann, and he has a very beautiful private question. Wow. And uh, let's hear. DCI Diamond Cutter book literally changed my life. I made lots of wealth a year after I read that book. However, I become arrogant and unfaithful to my marriage for a period of time. So I also waste a lot of money and my wife is gone. So my question is, how can I bring my wealth to next level and also bring my wife back? Thank you. Wow, okay. that's a personal question. Very courageous question yeah, from Schumann. Yeah, it's a brave, brave question. I think. Yeah, thank you, Schumann, for uh, watching our show and and being uh, and have the confidence on us, mm -hmm. sharing with us this uh, private question. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, Gesha Michael. Well, I, I was thinking about this question, and, and first of all, I have to say it's a very brave question. I think all of us have very uh, private things, private goals that we would like to reach and we're shy to ask them, and then I think a lot of people miss out amazing answers in their life because they're afraid to talk about uh, the most sensitive issues in their life. Uh, I gave it a lot of thought, Shumian, and I, I, I think, personally, I have an idea for you, which is something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, I really enjoy hooking people up with each other, not romantically. But I mean, uh, since your interest is two things, you want to take your wealth to the next level. Uh, you already made a lot of wealth from the Diamond Cutter book, but you want to take your wealth to the next level. And, but at the same time, you want to reconnect with your wife. And I think it's a very brave uh, thing to do. Then I have this idea, and it's something that I really, really enjoy doing in my life. And that's uh, connect people with people who need them. You see what I mean? So, I don't know. Outside Peach Street Cafe today, uh, we are digging a big hole in the ground and that's gonna be a place for a, a toilet, you know? And uh, the sewer system is gonna go there. And a friend of ours, Gelsé, uh, she asked me, uh, she's, she's digging a, a septic system in her house. And she said, oh, I'm looking for someone to dig the hole. And I'm like, I got the guy for you, you know, uh, so, you know, I already have his name. Did you say the toilet was going to go in a home? No, <laughs> uh, but That'd be weird. Uh, she wants to dig uh, a, new, a new septic system at her house, sewer system at her house. And, and the minute I heard that, I, I'm on top of it, you know, because I really enjoy being a matchmaker. What do you call that in Hebrew? There's a name. Yeah, there is a Hebrew. Uh, what do you call it? Shadchan. Shadchan? Yeah. Yeah, you take the, you find the, the husband for it's the It's actually wife. stapler. It's the same name for a stapler. Oh, for stapler. <laughs> yeah. You like to staple people together. Yeah, exactly. So I think, uh, Shimen, you got to be a stapler. <laughs> and uh, you're looking for people who need things. And then look for the person that they're looking for and help connect them. So okay. that's my idea. Because yeah. uh, what, what actually you're asking, is, it's two kinds of seed. Is a seed to grow my wealth to mm -hmm. to be more rich, mm -hmm. and then the seed to get my wife back. Mm -hmm. And what Geshe Michael suggests is combine them two together mm -hmm. in one, one action that saves you a lot of time. I'm also Schumann. I'm I'm matchmaking you to the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm connecting you with the solution. And I think if we think of ourselves as matchmakers, you know. Oh, this guy would go well with this girl, you know, and, and hook them up with each other in a polite way, you know. But, um, yeah, if you want to use that to increase your wealth and to reconnect with your wife at the same time, double seats, then uh, think about all the business people you know and be, we call it keep your antennas up, you know, like keep, keep your ears out and th listen for people who need services or goods from other businesses, and then jump on it and connect them with, with good people, you know, good, good, con good suppliers or good customers, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Cool, super yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, and usually we say in DCI that uh, 
when you ha when you want to plant a seed to something to happen in your in in your life we said there's one thing to do and one thing to avoid mm. okay right what would you avoid so what th what to do you already got but what to avoid mm -hmm. we would say uh, avoid any uh, any action that splits people apart any kind of uh, action that divide others like uh, you know anything that we do physically or verbally or even in in your thought uh, and do the opposite as Geshe Michael already suggests you bring people together and that will plant the seed to, for you to be with your wife okay and for the seed for the financial seed what mm -hmm. not to do yeah. is uh, uh, of course don't uh, don't take what is not yours you know mm -hmm. when uh, uh, if you owe other people money, give it back. Mm -hmm. If you have bill to pay, pay it on time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we tell our suppliers or other people with their, we are in a business scene, uh, I'll, t I'll pay you next month. And it's not convenient for them, but they have no choice, right? Mm -hmm. uh, pay things on time. Mm -hmm. And that will plan seed to have more money. Usually we think, oh, I'll pay next month or I will have more money this month. But actually it's a wrong, wrong idea, right? Yeah. If, when we delay our payments, we actually plan to see to have less. I'm also thinking about uh, your coffee meditation. If you know the four steps, you know, the first step is that I want to take my wealth to the next level and I want to get my wife back. That's the goal. Then second is seed planting partner. Who's going to be your seed planting partner? And we said someone who needs goods or services connect them with someone else, and then that's going to plant a seed for more wealth for you, and that's going to plant a seed for more connection with you and your former wife. Then third step is, of course, uh, make it regular, at least once a week, at least one hour, talking to somebody in a coffee shop, you know, helping them to connect with people that they need to connect with to do their business. But my big suggestion for you, human is with step number four, which oh. is when you go to sleep at night and you put your head on the pillow, uh, think about the different things you did this week to connect people to other people and how you connected people who needed each other, uh, a customer to a supplier or things like that. Think about that. And what my big suggestion is, is very consciously, just before you fall asleep, send that good seed, send the energy of that good seed directed to reconnecting with your wife. Oh, wow, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, can you explain a little bit, Geshe how this, this sending of the seed really works? Can I send yeah, yeah. somebody seeds? How? Well, uh, Scott, uh, can you give a seed to somebody else? Can I take a seed out of my mind? And... <laughs> oh, this is a very deep question. <laughs> uh, oh, man, but, you know... We're trying to keep these morning shows relatively brief so people can enjoy it during your cornflakes or your kanji or, you know, whatever you're having, your beer, your muesli. Uh, and there's a lot we can say about this, guys. Um, so I can start with the simple answer and then I can allude to the more um, complicated answer. But first, to, to, to speak, to, to give a simple answer, no, you can't give a seed to somebody else. You can't just plant a seed for somebody else. And... Everything that we do is based on logic. Uh, logically, if, if a person could give another person a, a mental seed, then none of us would have any problems because all the good people of the world would have fixed all of our problems. We can actually make uh, some kind of uh, a group that we can exchange seeds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be so it's good. A, I need money seeds. It's a <laughs> guys seeds. I'm, uh, <laughs> Geshe, Michael, I'm sending you 16 money seeds today. <laughs> No, yeah, it, it's well, actually, it's a, <laughs> it's a really nice thought, guys, but uh, the beauty of it is that means that there's perfect justice. That means that uh, everything I experience is a result of seeds that I planted by what I thought, say, or, uh, thought said or did, and uh, everything I experience in the future will be a result of what I think, say, or do intentionally today to, you know, plant and, and create specific results. So, you know, I like to talk, I like to say to people in DCI events, you know, there's the good news and the bad news. Bad news is uh, I'm 100% responsible for everything I experience. Good news is I'm 100% responsible for everything I experience. <laughs> and it's really good news because that means be, since I'm responsible for all of it, that means I can change it. So simple answer is we can't plant seeds for somebody else. There's a more 
in-depth answer about uh, what we call the four flowers uh, that, you know, what I'm experiencing around me, uh, or I should say the seeds that I plant uh, appear in, we say, four different ways. Number one, you see a similar result. Number two, uh, I get the habit of doing the same thing. Number three, I see the environment around me as I do because of my seeds. Then there's a deeper answer about how I can affect seeing other people experiencing problems or not based on the seeds I'm planting. But I think that's a deeper thing for mm -hmm. another day. Mm -hmm. And then one other thing I'd like to say quickly about uh, Schumann in Shanghai. First of all, wonderful uh, country of China. So many friends we have there and I uh, hope you're watching. And we're so sorry we can't see you right now because of the coronavirus you mean uh, we crisis. Meet face to face. Well, excuse me, thank you, that yeah. we can't be, see you in person. Uh, but this is a really great way for us to communicate right now. And um, uh, I want to say, Schumann, that uh, that's a really courageous question to ask. And in these DCI events that we do around the world, about 35 cities every year, people come to us during the breaks in these events and they talk to us about things that are very personal, very private. And very often, like, this is a very private question that somebody would be afraid to ask. And so I say, Schumann, you want to plant good seeds? There's a simple shift in motivation. Like, I like to tell people at DCI events that you can do exactly the same things you're doing every day right now, but by just shifting the way that you, uh, you think about it, your motivation in doing it, you can plant powerful seeds. So you... Uh, you can uh, do a coffee meditation on the fact that you asked a very personal question that a lot of other people are probably asking around the world, and therefore uh, you can feel good that uh, they probably feel uh, more uh, you know, comfortable to ask these really uh, sensitive questions. So anyway... Uh, Good on you, Schumann, and uh, thank you for asking such so a personal I, question. I want to go back, mm -hmm. Michael, to your suggestion yeah. to Schumann, mm -hmm. is that when he does his coffee meditation, mm -hmm. or anybody else who has a similar kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, problem or wishes, mm -hmm. uh, to think about the wife yeah. that I want to come back. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, I'm directing the seed that I'm planting that she will be back with me, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's not that you're giving her the seed, okay? Uh, and that's what Scott said. You know, yeah. you cannot give another person the seed because a seed is planted by watching yourself do something. You mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. right now I'm talking. Right. And I'm aware that I'm talking and I'm watching. Right now I'm in the back watching Jesse Michael talk, you know? And so my awareness of myself plants a seed and that's how karma is planted that's how a mental seed is planted but if i'm aware i'm aware that you are speaking now mm -hmm. i also plant a seed right yeah and in a way uh you planted a seed to see me talk in a certain way and that's the key with his wife mm -hmm. uh, so he planted a seed long ago uh, that caused him to meet her and in that sense she is part of his world so she is part of his karma. She's part of what's coming out of his seeds. So he can, as, as he falls asleep, as Schumann, as you fall asleep, it's very, very powerful to take all the good seeds you did today and say, you know, I send it, I dedicate it to, to this solving this problem with my wife and my wife coming back. It's also very powerful at that moment to kind of make a prayer for everyone who's having trouble with their wife or their husband, you know, mm -hmm. like everyone who's lonely, everyone who's lost someone dear to them. I, I, I hope that by my good seeds, uh, everyone in the world who's not together with the person they love will come to be together with the person they love. And that prayer uh, makes it very powerful. This, this wish, this motivation basically planted the very powerful seeds that this, yeah. this uh, situation will be resolved. Yeah, and it's interesting. They call it in the ancient language, uh, infinite seed. It's called an infinite, infinite seed. seed. Cool, cool. And, uh, wow. and they say, why? And they say, because this seed is not aimed, it's not targeted at my situation, at my finding my, getting my wife back. This seed I target to everyone who wants their husband back or their wife back. 
And that's an infinite number of people in yes. the universe. There are many stars, there are many planets, there are all kinds of people everywhere. Uh -huh. cool. And if you have this dream that everyone who is apart from the person they love should come to be with the person they love, then the seed of that is infinite. And of Super. course, getting one wife back is not a big problem. Ah, <laughs> but many moments with her, infinite yeah. moments with her, right? Yeah. Wow. Uh, so let's summarize. Yeah, uh, uh, it's concrete steps. Okay, what we talked about. So uh, Schumann talked about that two things he wants in life. He wants his wealth to, to upgrade his wealth and to next level, next level and get his wife uh, that he is now separated from. So the first suggestion that you got here from Geshe Michael was start connecting other people. So, and uh, in anything that I, in relation to making money. Mm -hmm. So if you find uh, somebody that needs an investor and you yeah. know about an investor, yeah. make the connection between the two people yeah. without any hidden agenda here. You know, you're mm -hmm. just doing it from the, from, from the depth of your heart. You want to connect people that have uh, two that have a financial need. That was number one. Number two, we said, don't do the opposite, okay? Because we can plant good seeds and at the same time also plant some negative seeds and we just contradict them, right? So... Uh, and I think, uh, to be honest, everyone who's married has trouble, you know? Right. Everyone who's married has bad days. Right. And uh, we depend on our close friends to help us with our marriage. So when you see your friends having a little trouble with each other, step in if they want it and help them. A little bit. Yeah. yeah, so plant the seed of helping and never divide, never separate, never do anything, saying something that divide people apart. Yeah. So that was the second thing. The third thing is that when you, when you go to sleep at night and you mm -hmm. do your happy meditation, celebration meditation about you bringing people together, send it to uh, to your wife that you will be with her together and also in a deeper level think about all the people in the world that might have this problem and so many people have the same problem as you are describing here yeah. a lot and and wish in your heart <clears throat> that they will not suffer themselves from a problem like this and this problem will be resolved and if if the pen is true and if things I think I have a pen here <laughs> somewhere I do. The production guy has. If the pen is true, <laughs> yeah, this one. and it means that <laughs> things are really coming from me, yeah. then nothing is impossible. And I don't care how bad the divorce was, I don't care how bad the fights were, I don't care how angry your wife is. Everything is possible. If she's coming from you, then you can do it and don't give up and, and do if, it. And everything, uh, all the good things in our life come from doing good to other people so you can create any goodness in your life that you want yeah, yeah if my success depends on your success then the smartest thing i can do every day Schumann, is to focus on yours and you know same same thing for you to think about can i do some housekeeping real quick yeah housekeeping yeah. Let's get thank a, you let's Schumann, get for next, this great yeah and question. it's a very brave question that was a brave question and the next question is queued up but real quickly two things from me in the back in the in the back seat here um first of all i have a complaint this is a morning show, and I'm the only one that's ever eating. You ever notice that? Eating. I'm in the background. I'm like, I'm the only person eating the croissants. Like, and okay, so I just want to say, you know, it's not fair. You guys have to eat something once in a while. I mean, there's good food here. Secondly, guys, uh, good news for all of you uh, in the, you know, who would like to see DCI in the digital realm. Uh, online, uh, we are uh, now in production with DCI training in an online uh, platform. And uh, right now it's available on the DCI website, www.diamondcutterinstitute.com. You can click the green button in top center and see the beginning of DCI online. But we're going to be creating a mobile platform. And so for those of you that are mobile app developers, please do uh, send your mobile application portfolio to app <laughs> at diamondcutterinstitute.com. That's app 
at diamondcutterinstitute.com. And uh, we will be taking a look at everybody who would like to partner with DCI in creating a mobile platform uh, for online training. And uh, we will uh, make a selection of a partner and move forward. So please do send us your portfolios. And then uh, let me get that question, question for, for And if Monday. you have more things to offer about this discussion, please write in the comments below. Please share your ideas. There's a lot of... Si there and we'll be, we'll be in there also yes. discussing them with you. It will be our pleasure to continue this great conversation. Um, and guys, and please do send your questions to seedquestions at diamondcutterinstitute.com. And don't be shy to share this video if you know somebody that can, be benefit, can, can benefit from it. And uh, or give us a like. But if you have new questions, please send them to seedquestions at diamondcutterinstitute.com. 30 second limit. 30 second maximum in vertical selfie format uh, from your phone. <laughs> and we will consider all questions. Take and it away, now, boss. We have a question for Monday. We have a question for Monday from Janice from Colorado. Jenna Sanders. Where's Colorado? Silverton, Colorado, it's United a States. It's someplace in the U.S. Okay. <laughs> and here we go. Very go, good business question. Hi, I'm Deanna Sanders, and I'm from Southwest Colorado. I have six stores in this area, and they're seasonal. So my question is, what seeds do I need to plant to get the help that I need when I don't, when I'm not able to have them employed year-round? Wow. Okay. The help. That's a great question for business people. The help I, she needs. The yeah. help. Um, so all of, I think many of us, if you're in business, yeah, yeah. You, you have seasons that you, you have more business than other seasons. So what do you do with your employee? That's, yeah. How um, do you get uh, good employees who are willing to work only for a few months? You know? yes. How do you find those people? Guys, have a great weekend. Yeah, think have about a nice that. weekend. We're going to take two days off. We'll see you on Monday. All right. Have a great weekend, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye for now. Love you.